This is Tom from Tractor Tools Direct, and you're now watching In the Field. Hey guys, it's Tom. I'm here with our TM67 Ibex drum mower. Uh, we are in a suburban field in Indiana, Midwest area. And uh, today I want to show you a few things about this mower uh, to make life a little bit easier for you when you get out to the field with your new machine. So first and foremost, I have the mower straight behind the tractor to fit in between some uh, tight spaces to get into the fields, uh, in between your fence rows and to get into some certain paddocks. So first and foremost, to go from transport mode, as you see here, into cutting mode, there's only basically three steps, um, and they're pretty simple. So step number one to go from transport mode to cutting mode is gonna be with your pin. So you're gonna pull the pin here and lift this pin out of its slot. From there, you wanna go to the back of your, of your mower and just simply pull it on around. Once you get the mower pulled around to cutting mode, just place this pin back into the original slot and put this pin right back into its right back into its place. So that's step one. Step two, this is your breakaway system right here. So you're wanting to tighten up your breakaway system. So simply just tighten up the breakaway and it's gonna find its way into the, into the detent down here. And you're just gonna tighten it up until it's fairly tight there. So that's about right. That's step number two. And the third step is basically just gonna be loosening up this pin right here. And that way, when you lower it down, we're gonna, we're gonna be able to make sure this mower you can see is kind of tilted towards the front. And that's all gonna be adjusted with our top link once we lower it down to the ground. We wanna make sure that the pitch of the mower is about flat with your, with your ground. And you always wanna do that once you get it down on the ground. That's everything to get the TM67 drum mower by Ibex ready to go from transport to cutting in the field. We'll go ahead and lower this thing on the ground, adjust our top link to get a good level pitch to the ground, and then you'll see us cut away for the day. Hey guys, it's Tom from Tractor Tools Direct. Just finished up mowing for today and thought I'd give you guys a quick rundown before we pack everything up and come back for tomorrow 
so we can start tedding and potentially raking. Depends on good old mother nature. We have had a ton of rain this, this season. And so this field, if you can see, I don't know, um, was our first cutting and we are in the end of June. So this is a very strange season for us. We've had more rain than we've had since apparently the 1800s. Um, so just wanted to kind of give you a recap. This hay was extremely thick, alfalfa mix. Um, we used a TYM 394, T394 tractor, uh, about 37, 38 horsepower. And this TM67 drum mower with a 67 inch cut, two drums, four blades per drums, um, straight shaft driven machine worked beautifully so I couldn't ask for anything better for as thick of the hay uh, as thick as the hay was um, I just had to slow down a few times um, so for what it's worth this thing handled this hay really really well uh, the times that I had to slow down were when I was going uphill and I just had to slow down to keep the drum speeds up so I'm sure if you guys have any questions, let us know. These are the perfect videos that we can kind of provide you guys with some tips and tricks on how to use any of the implements that you see in any of our videos. Uh, you're more than happy and more than welcome to comment on the video, send us an email, give us a call, 260-BALE-HAY. Uh, you can email us at info at tractortoolsdirect.com. You can find our YouTube channel. We've got a Facebook page. We've got a whole bunch of things on there. Um, so feel free, get on there. Uh, let us know what you think about the videos. Today was not too exhausting um, so you know for a thick thick field less than five acres we just probably mowed about two acres today um, didn't take us too long probably about an hour or so maybe a little bit more um, getting everything set up this is my first time using this machine so other than that this is uh, kind of just uh, me talking today letting you guys know what, what happened in the field we're gonna go home get some rest and see you guys tomorrow for some more videos Hey guys, it's Tom from Tractor Tools Direct. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, check out our Facebook forum, and comment on any topics you'd like for us to cover in the future.